He was good, but the offense was just a little bit better. Paul George has promised he's back out there. Robert Covington thought Paul George was there. He wasn't. Not me. I'm so kind to them. Wesley down the lane <laughs> collides with Covington. A whistle will send the youngster to the line here for a couple of free throws. As Keldon Johnson pop was asked about it when the season begins. Like, I don't even know if they know the capital of Texas. And I don't care. I just want them to play hard and play hard they have. I, I don't think so. And, and I like the challenge, but it just adds time to the game, which is the, they don't want to do that. Collins, only really nice defensive play, but scores up on the other side as well. George attacks. Good ball movement here for the Clippers. Batum has it back off to Covington for three. It's hard for Covington. Back to 13 points. One team you don't want to let them hang around. Nice seal that time on the inside. Beautiful block shot by Covington from behind. Well, I'll be very honest. Even if the Clippers were healthy all year, I didn't think you would see the best version of the Clippers until January. As Covington knocks down a three. So how about Kawhi just gets him some momentum? It wasn't Reggie. Nice read by Roby. Pass knocked out of the hands of Collins and out of bounds. It'll stay with the Clippers. Clipper defense starting to extend and put more pressure on denying reversal passes across the court. Something they want to look at. It produces more turnovers and there's Covington with a left hand finish. Clipper defense starting to extend and put more pressure on denying reversal passes across the court. Something they want to look at. It produces more turnovers and there's Covington with a left hand finish. Collins posting on Powell. Two former Blazers going at it. McDermott for three. And the rebound. PG now with 28. The biggest thing I like right there coming out of that timeout to start the fourth quarter, the energy. Covington with the steal. Powell is alone in the corner for three. It's good. They certainly have done that. Their execution was good. Their energy was good. And they force another turnover. Clippers on a 6-0 run to start the fourth. Can Jackson make it a 9-0 run? Rebound goes to Keldon Johnson. A couple of Johnsons out there for San Antonio. Probably a better way to say that. Rebound goes to Collins. 110-81 changes in your desire to be a coach. He says he's just loving his relationships. He's loving teaching the game again. And while the Spurs don't necessarily have the best record, they play hard. We saw it last week, and they can still execute. Who else has had multiple number one picks over the years and wound up with those kind of players? I don't know how deep the draft is. I know that the top two is, is uh, definitely solidified. Blake Wesley with a nice dunk. Great recognition for your HEB inside the game. But I need about 10 more of those. Clippers get the steal. It ends up an alley-oop with a Robert Covington dunk. They see. They're climbing up. They see how close this thing is. And they like the fact that they get the feeling they're playing very well. Jason Preston now controls. We, we have a new guy on the floor tonight, but I haven't seen this one guy who's out there right now. Number zero. Who's that? Offensive rebound of the Clippers reload. Covington from the wing. Spoon feeds the Abate for the flush. Four minutes to play in this one. 128 to 95. The headline here, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard played very well. Second headline, Luke Kennard comes back to the lineup. Having played 12 minutes in that first half, Gorgie Jang drives. And the third headline that's almost as important as the other two, and that is the Clippers ran through the tape. Uh, Paul George individually 14 of 19. Kawhi Leonard 10 of 16. You'd like to know going into this road trip that you talked about. Can we please keep this hot hand and keep it going while we're on the road? Covington with the three ball for a deep left corner.